Well, hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Erica. Actually, I like to upload three videos every single week on Sundays, Tuesdays, and on Thursdays. So if you enjoy project panning, eyeshadow tutorials, makeup hauls, all the fun stuff and makeup and beauty, then I'd love you to hit that thumbs up, subscribe before you go, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of all my future uploads. Now today, I'm gonna introduce a new project pan to my channel. Do I need another one? No. <laughs> But I am obsessed. I cannot stop doing these projects. And this is Pan Me A Story Watson. So if you want to know all about this project and my picks and the prompts, then go ahead and keep on watching. Alrighty, my beautiful friends. We are back for another project intro. This one, I was like, she took so much time and effort into this project I couldn't say no. I love a good project. You don't even need to put time and effort into it. But the fact that she did this, this has 60 prompts and it is, okay, let me see. Deborah is the creator. Let me start from the beginning. <laughs> this is a year long project. It is a Fantastic Ladies collab group and I will leave that group down below. And you can use the hashtag Pammy a story and follow all the other lovely ladies participating in this and if you want to do this feel free to join it runs from May 22nd 2022 to May 22nd 2023 so I think I'm going to have 22 usage goals just because 22 22 it's uploaded on the 22 so you know it's year 2022 I'm just going to probably do that but Deborah is a lovely creator of this project and she did take a lot of time and effort I've never seen any of the Sherlock Holmes nor have I read any, but I've always been interested. So maybe, you know, now's the time, now's the time. I love to read books. Um, I love to watch TV, so why not? <laughs> but thank you, Deborah, for this wonderful project that you have created and came up with all these really, really interesting prompts. There's 60 of them. So it says, this rolling project is in celebration of the 135th anniversary to the publication of the first Sherlock Holmes story and the birth of Sir Anthony Cannon Doyle, 22nd of May, 1859. So that's why they're doing it on the May 22nd. There are prompts available, or you can come up with your own based on the readings of the stories. You may choose as many prompts as you like to start with. So... There's a lot. I'm just going to do a randomizer 1 through 60. 6 is my absolute, 6 and 13 are my absolute favorite numbers, but I do have quite a lot of projects that I am doing. So we're going to start with 6, and then if I don't hit my goal next month, I'm going to roll another one in. If I don't hit that goal, I'm going to roll another one in, we'll, and we'll just go from there. So let me, <laughs> enough chitter chatter about all that, let me go ahead and get my randomizer, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, I have one through 60 on my true random number generator, and let's go and see what we get. 33 is the first one. Okay, the prompts weren't numbers, so I had to count down to 33. But I drew the adventure of Black Peter Forrest Rowe in the wild is the scene of the harpoon murder and the young police inspector Stanley Hopkins asks Holmes whom he's whom he admires for help. Holmes has already determined that it would take a great deal of strength and skill to run a man through a harpoon and, and embed it into the wall behind him. Suggested something that requires skill to use. Now I have not read none of these. I don't I know Sherlock Holmes is. I do know that. Um, but like for the prompts and the books, no clue. <laughs> you know, maybe after a year, I'll know exactly what each one is talking about. So something that requires skill to use. Alrighty, I think I know what I want to pick. I am in the beginning process of putting all my collection into a spreadsheet. And I was doing my eyeliners yesterday. And liquid liner, you do have to have skill to use. I used to be a pro at it and then I stopped using it. But then... I don't know. This is the Nick NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner in the Black Noir. So I do need to use this up. It is liquid, so it will be drying out. But you know what? It's good right now. So I will put this in 
for 22 uses. We're gonna do 22. Ooh, to me, that's a lot because I don't wear makeup every single day. Um, but you know, maybe for work I can. I, maybe I need to start doing some wing liner. So 22 uses for this Nick, NYX Epic Ink Liquid Liner. All right, to you back to the generator. 21, let me go ahead and count down to 21. Alrighty, so 21, I wasn't gonna, I was being lazy, I wasn't gonna put that whole prompt into a willy spin, that's 60, I'm gonna lose track, so I'm just doing 1 through 60 and counting down, make it easier for me. But it is the adventure of Musgrave Ritual in the story. Holmes recounts to Watson the events arising after a visit from a university acquaintance Reginald Musgrave Mus Musgrave visits Holmes after the disappearance of two of his domestic staff, Rachel Halls, a maid, and Richard Burton. Not Burton. <laughs> Brunton. My head's somewhere else. The longtime butler. The pair vanishes after Musgrave has dismissed Brunton for secretly reading a family document, the Musgrave Ritual. Suggested something that I wrote down the wrong thing. I I wish it was spaced a little bit differently and numbered. It's kind of <laughs> Okay. Something that you use only out of habit regardless of the reason. So let me go ahead and see and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I was thinking primer or setting spray, but I'm going to do a spray, even though I have a lot of sprays in my collection. Do I have any primers? Let's do a primer. <laughs> I was going to do a spray, but I have four sprays. Yeah, I already have four sprays in my project, so let's go ahead and do a primer. I only have two primers in projects. So another next item, I want to, I counted this and I was like, you know what, I haven't really used this in my collection. Um, this is, I forgot why I bought this. It was supposed to be like a dupe or something, but it is a honey do me up. It has honey, gold flakes, and collagen. You can use it by yourself or alone. It is a pretty thick formula, but, um, I was using another one in my collection, which I have used quite a bit with a more matte foundation and with my Estee Lauder, but this will be paired underneath that one. Hopefully, well, yeah. Gives it a nice little glow, but it also feels like it'll be like sticky, like honey. Um, I haven't used that in a very long time. Um, so see a little bit of gold flakes in there. So we are going to set that for 22 uses, my friends. 22. Wish me luck. And I did go ahead and make my mark right there. So that is 21, The Adventure of Musgrave Ritual. If I'm not saying those words right, I'm sorry. All right, see, let's get a low number so I don't have to count that far. <laughs> Generate 58. All right, just got to go two from the top. All right, see, this is a long one. The Adventure of the Veiled Lodger Homes is visited by Mrs. Marilo. A landlady from South Brinkston who has an unusual lodger who never shows her face. She saw it once accidentally and it was hideously it was hideously mutilated. This woman, formerly very quiet, has recently taken a cursing in the night shouting, Murder, murder, and you cruel beast, you monster monster. Mrs. Marylow has brought the case to Holmes' attention as her tenant, Mrs. Ronder, will not involve the, cler the clergy or the police in something that she would like to say. She has told her landlady to mention Abus Par Parva, knowing that Holmes would understand the reference, suggested a loud product. A loud product. Something bright. Something bright. All righty. Let me go rummage through my collection. I'll be right back. All righty. I'm back with a loud product. And I chose this lip liner. I believe the brand is Nika. I think I got it from like a hair place. But I was going to pick that one. But that one's not too loud. But that one is a super loud pink. I was. This is documented in my spreadsheet. I have quite a lot of lip liners. 
more than more than someone should have. So it's like I need to shuffle through them. So I my starting mark is right there. I rolled it all the way up. And that is where we are gonna start today. And my goal is 13 uses. I don't want to do 22 because I don't want to do the same pink, but I do have some glosses that I'm trying to work through as well. So if I do this with the gloss on top, the two different glosses that I'm working on, that could be done. And 13 is my favorite number, so we're going to do 13 uses for that prompt. I'm excited. I do have kind of like some products that I want to bring in that I want to work on, and those were all documented, and I was like, why haven't I shown those some love? So... We're going to show them some love. Next is number 10. Ooh, that's a top number. The Adventure of the Blue Carbuncle. A gem known as the Blue Carbuncle is stolen from a hotel suite and a former felon is soon arrested. However, an acquaintance of home discovers the carbuncle in the throat of a Christmas goose. Holmes traces the owner of the goose, but soon determines that he is not the thief by offering him a replacement goose. Suggested a gemstone. I think I know. <laughs> Be right back. How can I not pick the ColourPop So Jaded palette for a gemstone prompt? So I'm going to do no pen left behind. You know, all these gemstones. Come on now. So all of these I will have to use one. So that's 30 eyeshadows used one time. I think I can do it. I really think I can. I do love this palette. So, so jaded, no pan left behind style. I figured out what that was called. I didn't know that that's what it was called. When I did it with Morphe, then I was seeing other people's videos. I was like, oh, it is a thing. So that's cool. So no pan left behind for the so jaded color pop palette. And on a separate piece of paper, I'll go ahead and draw a beautiful drawing <laughs> of all of the shadows and just color them in as I hit them. So fun, 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 fun. Two more prompts to go. 51. Alrighty, it is the Adventures of the Three Gables. Mrs. Maberly is an elderly woman whose son has recently died in Rome. He was in... I don't know what that word is. There. <laughs> Some peculiar things have happened to the Three Gables. Mrs. Maberly has lived there nearly two years and in all that time has attracted very little attention from her neighbors. Suddenly, however, a man came to her recently and offered to buy her house and all the furniture in it. She was not really willing to do it, especially after her lawyer, Mr. Stutro, told her that the legal agreement drawn up by this prospective buyer would forbid her to remove any possessions from the house when she moved out. Suggested something that is almost empty. Hmm, I have a good one, I have a good one. So like I said, I <laughs> wanted to, didn't want to put any more sprays, but look at this little booger. I'm gonna have to put this one in. I was gonna put another one in, this is a Max, Mac Prep and Prime Fix. Plus, I don't like rose scent. I do not like rose scent. It smells like a, I, it's a beautiful product, but the scent it bugs me. It really bugs me. So this is to use up. Let me go ahead and mark it. So there we go. Marked right there to use up. So use up goal. One more prompt to go. These are fun. These are pretty long prompts. They, she really, you know, did her did her work and her research. Number three. Ooh, that's a top one. I don't have to count that far down. They're all long ones. <laughs> the Hounds of the Baskervilles. It's a novel. Dr. James Mortimer calls on Sherlock Holmes in London for advice after his friend, Sir Charles Baxter Baskerville, was found dead in the alley of his manor in Dartmoor in Devon. The death was attributed to a heart attack, but according to Mortimer, Sir Charles's face retained an expression of horror, and not far from the corpse, the footprints of a gigantic hound were clearly visible. According to an old legend, a curse runs in the Baskerville family since the time of the English Civil War. 
when a Hugo Baskerville abducted and caused the death of a maiden on the moor only to be killed in the turn by a huge demonic hound, allegedly the same creature that has been haunting the manor ever since, causing the premature death of many Baskerville heirs. Something spooky. I don't know why I have a lot of spooky things. I'm Halloween lover. Oh, it would have to probably be an eyeshadow palette. Let me rummage through and I will be right back. Alrighty, I have a few spooky themed eyeshadow palettes, but I picked the famous, infamous ColourPop Gather Round Sisters. This was highly coveted, and I was kicking myself in the ass because I don't know why I didn't get it the first, the first release, first round release, and I finally got the second one. So I am going to pick, obviously, this palette, but I'm going to do no pen left behind. So it's 15 eyeshadows, you know, maybe five or six uses. Look at this beautiful, something spooky. I am a spooky lover. I love all the things Halloween. There are a few spooky eyeshadow palettes into my wish list cart. Um, I am planning to film a eyeshadow palette wish list or that I'm wanting to buy what's on my radar. So I will be filming that soon. But yeah, so ColourPop. Gather Round Sisters, No Pen Left Behind. It's a beautiful palette. I feel fall vibes, obviously, because it came around in fall, but it's okay. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. And then the color pop. So Jaded, this pink one, the eyeliner, and then the primer that's a little bit sticky. But that is my intro for the. Pan me a story Watson project pan follow along all the leads with the hashtag pan me a story and I can't wait to see what everyone else rolls in there are 60 prompts so when I do my update I won't pick the same prompts so I can kind of get through the whole ones in the year and then if I hit 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 them all then I'll go back from the beginning but I want to get through all the prompts within the year so this is a fun one I did start with six if I don't hit any goals next by my june update then i will roll one more project in one more product and i always confuse the two <laughs> project product project project product <laughs> so i think this will probably be the only thing that i can roll out next month maybe this guy too so one rollout definitely one possibility so one for sure two possibles so That'll be my predictions for next month. But thank you, my wonderful, beautiful friends, for joining me in this video today. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe before you go. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I love you all so, so, so much. Bye, guys.